Hello and welcome to another maths video. Today we're going to try and solve this geometry problem here. Uh, find the red length QR denoted by the question mark. But before I go into uh, detail on how to solve that, I suggest you pause the video, grab a pen and paper and give it your best shot. So um, pause it now. Okay, fantastic. and. Let's solve the problem. So obvious things to notice are we have equal lengths sides there and there. Um, we have length PR is uh, 3. And it's looking like a Pythagoras problem to find length QR. But the only trouble is we only have uh, one side, which is root 3. So what I'm going to do, since SR is equal to P. Q. I'm going to just put x just just to denote that they are the same length. Now, once I have x there, um, we can actually now find uh, an expression for ps because that would be three minus x, and that's really useful because now if you look at triangle PQS, we actually have and actually that's a right angle triangle, isn't it? We have uh, lengths uh, or expressions for all three sides of the triangle, so we can actually use Pythagoras, because there's only one unknown, uh, to find what x is. So we'd be doing uh, ps squared add sq squared equals pq squared. So uh, let's do that now. 3 minus x all squared add root 3 squared is equal to x squared. Now, um, probably the simplest way, not necessarily the quickest, uh, to do 3 minus x all squared is just, as with squaring anything, you're multiplying it by itself. So I'm just going to multiply it by itself like that. Uh, so plus root 3 squared, since squaring and square rooting uh, are the inverse of each other, that, that they will cancel each other out. So we're just left with 3 there. And on the right-hand side of the equation, we have x squared. OK, so let's do this. So we have 3 times 3 is obviously 9. 3 times negative 3x is negative 3x. Negative x times 3 is negative 3x. And negative x times negative x is positive x squared. Then we have the plus 3 here is equal to x squared. OK, now we can start to collect some like terms. So we have 9 and positive 3. Remember, you can only collect terms on uh, any particular side. So we're collecting all the terms on the left-hand side. And we can also collect the x terms. So that will be negative 3x and negative 3x. OK, so let's simplify that. So the 9 plus 3 is obviously 12. Negative 3x, add negative 3x is negative 6x. Add x squared is equal to x squared on the right-hand side. OK, so I guess firstly let's just take x squared from both sides. And we're left with 12 minus 6x equals 0. Let's add x, uh, 6x to both sides and we get 12 equals 6x. We're almost there. Divide both sides by 6. Cancel, cancel. Actually, it cancels the 1. So x is equal to 2. It's nicer to write it like that. So that's fantastic. We have a value of x equals 2. I'm just going to uh, create myself a bit of room and just shrink all this down. Hopefully, I can make this work. Oop. Right, fantastic. So we'll put all that away up there and start again. So we have x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2, and if you look at the triangle SQR, it's another right angle triangle, SQR, now we know that SR is 2 and we already knew that SQ is root 3, so we can use Pythagoras again, so we'll do SR squared add SQ squared equals QR squared. So we've got 2 squared 
add root 3 squared equals qr squared. So that's obviously 4. We've already seen that squaring the square root cancels itself out. So we've got 4 add 3 equals qr squared. So that's basically 7 equals qr squared. So if we did the inverse of squaring, which is obviously square rooting to both sides, we finally get the answer that qr is equal to root 7. So that's the answer. Uh, if anybody had any other neat ways of finding the solution, um, please uh, let me know in the description. Um, so, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, see you soon for another video.